world of tanks has existed for more than 10 years already. Over time, many vehicles have been added to the game, from the classic ones that we know and love to futuristic ones and blueprint prototypes. And now, it's time for this tank to roll out. The one we've all been waiting and longing for. The one and only, the truly beautiful Abr... Oh, wait a minute. It's not the Abrams. It's an Italian. The Bisonte C45? Huh, didn't expect that. All right, let's see what you're made of. So, this is the Bisonte C45, a tier 8 premium Italian heavy tank. And here's a fact for you. It really is beautiful. Just look at those shapes. It's oozing aesthetics. Low profile, lovely curves, stylish rivets. It almost cuts through the air, even when it's standing in place. In short, real handsome. We just gotta find out how practical this Brioni suit of his is. And here's our first disappointment. On paper, the upper and lower glasses plates can probably protect it from passionate fans. And just barely from Tier 7 shells. However, there's a catch. The upper plate is patched with screens and can deal with hit shells pretty well. So it's not a totally lost cause. Its sides are pretty typical. Typical for medium tanks. Under an extreme angle, it has a chance to bounce a shell. But over-rotate it a bit, and mamma mia, come hai potuto perforarmi? In short, its hull armor is not that fantastic. The turret is a whole other story. As a traditional for Italian architects, our hero's turret hosts a real masterpiece of a certain kind. It's not leaning. It has all the parts in their places and it's surprisingly sturdy. The effective armor in its cheeks and mantlet is 300 and 270 millimeters respectively. Commander's cupola? Absent. There are a couple of weak spots, but everybody has them. But not everybody can boast 10 degrees of gun depression. The combination of all of this provides an opportunity to realize the potential of our hardened hero. In this position, the stubble of our Italian alpha male becomes untouchable, even for some of the most formidable guns in the game. Bellissimo! As we remember, our Bisonte C45 is dressed in a stylish Brioni suit. And maybe someone will consider the following question blasphemous, but isn't this a track suit? <laughs> the Italian's maximum speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Specific power is 12.5 horsepower per ton. And it's not that great. If you look just at the numbers, you would think that the Bisonte is quite a slow-paced vehicle. But everything changes when we unleash it into the battle. Yes, our hero doesn't accelerate as quickly as we would like, but after a couple of meters, its same tier colleagues start to suspect something. How and why it manages to reach its actual maximum speed, only Da Vinci knows. But that's a fact. Other tanks measure engine power in horsepower. Our handsome guy measures his in stallion power.
gun characteristics are not very impressive at first glance either. Accuracy of 0.42, base damage of 360, and let's be honest, mediocre DPM. Even Joconda would twist her lips looking at it. But Madame Lisa is smiling like that for a reason. She knows about a certain secret. The secret is the improved auto-reloading mechanism. Let's take a classic Italian medium tank with a normal auto-reloading mechanic. The shells are loaded in the magazine sequentially. Each following one is faster than the last. This allows Italian MTs to fire in three different ways. Cyclical, when you're firing only one shell and wait for it to fully reload. Like an autoloader when you are able to cause immense damage in a short amount of time. Or combine, when you're using both of the previous ways in different variations. We all know how efficient and cool it can be, but the auto reloader of the Italian MTs has a catch. If you fire a shell while the mechanism is loading a shell in the magazine, the reloading of the current shell is reset and a longer reload of the following one begins. And this is often frustrating. You see a target that you can shoot and you have a choice. Do I shoot or maybe wait? But if I shoot and the enemy rushes from around the corner, and if they didn't but I haven't shot, or if I shoot and the enemy pushes me in return, and at that moment you start doubting, doubting if the decision was correct. Because it's a lottery in essence, the one with choice is the one with doubt. But let's set all jokes aside. Bizonte C45 is the first vehicle in the game with an improved auto-reloading mechanic. Exactly! If you didn't wait until the shell was fully loaded and took a shot, the following shell will receive a bonus to loading time. The amount of bonus time will depend on what loading stage was interrupted. But the essence is the same. The vehicle will be ready to fire earlier. There are four brackets near the shells that show the percentage of the loading time reduction for the following shell. The first means the start of the bonus. After the second one, the loading time acceleration will be about 16%. After the third one, 33%, and after the fourth one, 50%. But it's not really fair to judge the Italian auto-reloading mechanic in a vacuum. It's unfair both to the old one and to the improved one. So let's cut to the chase. Here is the Turtle MK Mark I, a vehicle with the highest DPM tier for tier, and the same amount of hit points as our hero. Who do you think will win this battle? The result was expected. The only chance for the Brit to survive this duel was if the Bizonte had bad luck with damage per shot. Classic odor loading mechanic in action. But when there are several enemies, that's when the improved mechanic really shines. In real battle, when there are situations where a couple of seconds mean everything, that's when you will feel this bonus. Get shot by the enemy, respond with the first shell, wait for another to load, but the enemy is rushing you, so you don't have a choice, you have to finish them. But you receive the bonus, and even though the next enemy is already on their way, and they can finish you off, maybe those bonus seconds will allow you to win. The improved order reloading mechanic is not a revolution. It's more of an evolution. Most of the time you won't notice these bonuses, but they will always be with you. It's like a sophisticated Italian spice. It doesn't draw all the attention to itself, but it definitely makes the dish delicious. The Bisonte C45 is mesmerizing. From its stunning appearance all the way to being the first of its kind. It can bounce shells with its turret. It can fire in cyclical mode. It can surprise the enemy with its loading time. It can win a duel thanks to its mechanic. 
It can destroy three vehicles in six seconds. And most importantly, it can do it in its own unique fashion. <laughs>